I'm Matt Pichard with REIT.com here in New York City for REIT Week 2014. I'm joined by Scott Crow, Global Portfolio Manager with Resource Real Estate. Scott, thanks for joining us. Hi, Matt. Uh, what impact is the slow pace of economic recovery having on asset allocation, and what are the commercial real estate investors most focused on right now? Well, a couple of things there. Firstly, a slow pace of recovery is actually a good thing for real estate um, because it means that interest rates are going to stay low and there's not enough animal spirits to really start development. So we're in for a sustained period of low interest rates and low supply. But what I would say is that the economic recovery is gaining pace. Um, it's actually very strong in certain sectors like technology and energy, uh, and that's very, very good for, for some cities and sub-markets. So it means when we're allocating capital, we really have to concentrate on the specific city and even sub-market where we're investing. And, and picking up on that, which international markets are, are standing out to you? And also in the U.S., what segments really uh, seem like a good bet for you? Yeah, okay, so internationally, Europe's cheap. Um, it's about two years behind the U.S. in terms of its interest it, real estate cycle. Uh, and so it means valuations are, uh, are a lot more attractive. Uh, and it means that we're at a point in the cycle where the economy's just come out of recession and is starting to improve. Now, Europe's got its you know, headwinds and problems, but the worst is behind us. And uh, that's where we're spending a lot of time and we're allocating a lot of capital to parts of continental Europe. And London is just on fire. It's a fantastic real estate market. Uh, I wouldn't say it's a cheap real estate market, but there's definitely enough momentum to see that market continue to move forward over the next couple of years. Now, in the US, I think the most interesting part of the market right now is the office market. Uh, it tends to be later cycle uh, in general, and I think that's playing out this, this time too in this real estate cycle. But again, it's, it's very much focused on a few key markets. Markets like um, New York, you know, mar markets like Seattle, markets like San Francisco, and sub-markets such as you know, the Woodlands in Houston, for instance. So you have to, you have to pick your markets carefully. And, and shifting to the public non-listed REIT space for a moment, what p potential do you see in this sector once new regulations are passed that, that are going to increase the disclosure of broker fees and commissions? So just to give some context here, you know, Resource Real Estate is a sponsor of, of uh, two non-traded REITs. Um, next year, uh, FINRA is coming out likely with some rules that are going to change the way that uh, clients receive the, uh, their positions on their statements. And essentially, they're going to be seeing the net investment amount uh, on their statement, net of fees and commissions. Okay? So they're going to have transparency on fees and commissions. And that is going to be a game changer for the non-traded REIT market. The first thing I'd say about that is that there is a, there's a reason why there's such huge demand for non-traded REITs. And people want low correlation and high levels of income, particularly coming out of the global financial crisis. That is not changing. That's structural and that's permanent. The, the rules to FINRA though, I think are going to be very, very positive to how the sponsor side provides an answer to that need. I think we're going to have better product. I think we're going to have lower fees. I think we're going to see fees come out of income and trailed as opposed to coming out of capital. That's a great thing because it means there's more money going in the ground. There's more economics for everybody to share. And I think it's also going to stimulate a lot more interest in the non-traded REIT space. If you have more transparency uh, and, and, and you have that price mechanism which can really help see the economic impact of people's decisions, you have lower fees, I think that's ultimately in the long term going to be a good thing for the space. Scott, thank you so much for your insights. Thanks, Matt. For more on this and other real estate related news, visit REIT.com. Mm -hmm.